Hey guys, welcome to my Apple iPad keyboard review and comparison video. So I've had this keyboard since Christmas and I absolutely love it. I'm also going to be comparing that keyboard to the Logitech keyboards, the Rugged Folio and the Slim Folio. For the purposes of this video, I'm using my iPad 10.2 inch, but Apple and Logitech make keyboards for all of the different iPads. I'm going to be sure to put links to all of these products in the description below. All right, let's do this. <laughs> The iPad keyboard is sleek, compact, and light. It connects via the smart connector on your iPad, meaning there's no need to connect via Bluetooth or charge the keyboard. It's instantly powered by and connected to the iPad. The keyboard doubles as a smart cover and magnetically folds and covers your iPad, creating a slim ultra portable package. The keyboard's made of a plastic material and it's supposedly water resistant, but Apple doesn't market it as such. It should be fine if it gets a little wet. It only comes in this gray color, which is a bit of a bummer. I'd love some cute color options. The keyboard keys are small, but after just a few minutes of getting used to, they feel comfortable. The keys have a great tactile response and are extremely quiet. So like I said, the keyboard's really quiet. And I just wanna show you how quiet the keyboard actually is. I'm gonna use these fingers. I will say occasionally the spacebar doesn't react, and that's because it needs a bit of a more forceful push. This hasn't really been a big issue for me since my iPad corrects my grammar anyway. You can also prop up the iPad in a steeper position for watching video or using the iPad as a second display for your laptop. While I'm on that topic, I just posted a video on how to use your iPad as a second display. To watch that, just click that link right up there in the top corner. The lack of a trackpad isn't really an issue here. I don't find that I need it for my iPad workflow, but if I really need a mouse, I can connect one via Bluetooth. I like how little room the keyboard takes up, and I feel comfortable using it in a small space. The keyboard seems to be meant for mainly using on surfaces. I've used it on my lap a bit, and while it's not horrible, the iPad is a bit shaky and it's not ideal. Oh, and on the complete opposite side of the spectrum, if you're using it on a metal table, that keyboard is going to be very secure. So secure that you can't easily move it, which I actually found helpful as soon as I found a good position for it. And this is a huge plus for me because I live in Los Angeles where the big earthquake can hit at any time and I'm gonna be set because if I'm using that iPad keyboard on a metal table, it won't go anywhere. Thanks, Apple. And lastly, I'm gonna tell you now, this keyboard isn't cheap. It's $159 on Apple's website, and I found it for $143 on Amazon, so I threw that link in the description below. Now, let's get into the keyboard abilities. To my surprise, all of the hotkeys that you're used to on Mac are present here on the iPad. So to figure out what hotkeys you can use, you just hold down Command on any app or the home screen and it shows you what you can do. So right here, it's showing me what I can do. I can do Command Spacebar and I can search for apps. I can go to Pages, let's say, and I hold down Command and it shows me all of the hotkeys I can use here. And then when I click in, it'll show me more. Right there, Bold, Command uh, I is italic. And then if I want to switch between apps, I just do Command Tab and I'm switching between apps. Um, so let me go into Safari. I can do Command T for a new tab. Ow, that hotkey burned me, it's hot. Okay, back to this, Command H will take me home. And in Mail, I can do Command N and I can do a new draft. If I go to iMessage, I can do Command I and, sorry, Command N and it's a new message. So. Hotkeys are really awesome here. I find this to be a key feature, pun intended. These hotkeys make using the keyboard and iPad a super enjoyable and productive experience. Also, I just wanna take a second to say how incredibly amazed I am by my iPad workflow. Like this thing has completely changed my coffee shop work session. Yes, I am that guy that's in Starbucks or some sort of trendy cute coffee shop for hours. And you know what? I am not sorry about it because things can get super lonely here. My office literally has me. But if you wanna be my assistant for free, let me know right in the comments. Anyway, I can quickly swap between apps, use apps side by side, and type out reviews just like this one. And side note, I did type this entire review on my iPad keyboard. 
If I wasn't a video editor, I could easily see myself using this as my main computer. I'm able to complete most of my work tasks and write reviews, update logs on Google Sheets and Docs, and work on social media. I highly recommend the iPad and keyboard combo. It's gonna change your life. Now let's talk about the competing keyboards. The main competitors in my view are the Logitech keyboards. Each keyboard has their own pros and cons, and it's going to be up to you to decide which one suits your lifestyle most. Also, all those hotkeys I showed you earlier, any keyboard you connect to your iPad will have them. First, there's the Rugged Folio, which goes for $140. The keyboard is water and dirt resistant, and the case is shock absorbent. Hence the name, Rugged. The keyboard connects via the smart connector as well, so it is instantly powered and connected to your iPad. The keyboard keys are slightly larger than Apple's and feel closer to a laptop keyboard. There's less of a tactile response, but I personally like it. The keys are quiet, soft, and a little more flat. So we're back for another session of Tech ASMR. Oh, right here, um, we have the Logitech Rocket Folio. It's right here. Check it out. It's right here. Yeah. Definitely super subtle sound. There's a row of shortcut keys on top, which make it super easy to adjust settings. These are missed on Apple's keyboard. The only issue I have is with the lock key. I keep on accidentally pushing it when I'm trying to hit delete. It's really annoying. I wish there was a way to just turn this off because I don't even find it necessary. The case has a kickstand that allows for a bunch of different setups, but it does take up more room and you can't use it on your lap. It weighs much more than the Apple keyboard and is three times as thick. As someone who already carries a laptop, I don't personally really need another heavy duty piece of equipment on me. But don't get me wrong, this is a great case. Next is the Slim Folio, which goes for $99. This keyboard runs via Bluetooth, so you'll need to connect it to your iPad and for the most part, it should connect whenever you turn it on. Logitech says the battery will last you four years until you need to replace it. When typing, the keys feel and sound much closer to a laptop. Hey. Session with these. It's much more like a keyboard. You've also got that row of shortcut keys. Most notably, they aren't water or dirt resistance like the other two. So perhaps this is a buy it nice or buy it twice kind of moment. The case feels much cheaper and only has one setup. I find that the angle of the iPad isn't ideal, but you can use it on your lap. There's also a dangling piece of fabric for an Apple Pencil. So if you have an Apple Pencil, that's great. If you don't, not so great. The case is lighter than the rugged, but more bulky and heavier than the Apple keyboard. For me, it truly comes down to the Apple keyboard or Logitech's rugged folio. If you're looking for a super lightweight keyboard that also doubles as a protective case, then go with the Apple keyboard. It feels great to type on, is versatile, sleek, and super compact. And you can easily fit it anywhere, just like in my backpack's iPad slot. Oh, and if you like this backpack, I did a whole review on it and you should check it out because it literally is amazing. So click that right there to see it. Now, if you want a heavy duty case with lots of different angles and it's a little bulky, but you don't mind that, then go with the rugged folio. Just know the case is gonna double the weight and triple the thickness of your iPad. What it comes down to is I recommend you having a keyboard for your iPad. What started out as an iPad keyboard review in comparison really turned out to be like an iPad workflow recommendation. I love the way that the iPads transform my workflow and just the ability to have a super lightweight workstation with me. And I truly believe that anyone who only needs a limited amount of apps and abilities on their laptop can really get away with using an iPad. And yeah, the only downside here is price. They're a little expensive, but I think that they are a great investment. And what I'll do is I'm gonna be updating the links down in the description over time as they get cheaper in price. So be sure to check those out. There you guys have it. That is my iPad keyboard review and comparison video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any keyboards that you love, let me know in the comments below. I wanna try them out. Anyway, I've got a lot more videos coming your way. How do you stay tuned for those? Subscribe right down there, click the bell for alerts. And if you like this video, give it a like right down there. I'm Justin. Well, I'll talk to you later. This is a zoom, right? Or zoom in. Yep, totally zoomed in. <gasps> Movie magic! <laughs> I'm not this tall. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get the next shot.